good people of England, it is with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that foreign air forces, in collusion with our own air force and our leaders, have been spraying our skies with deadly biological weapons for the last 10 years. The effect on our health and our environment is at present incalculable. Until now, we have lacked the information and the fortitude to combat this ever-present evil. I am dispatching teams of sky watchers across southern England whose contribution to the info war, unfazed by public opinion, mockery and media propaganda, has been invalid, undaunting and wholly effective. We have contacted the government, the Air Force and innumerable agencies having warned that unless we heard from them by 11 o'clock, May Day, a state of info war would exist between us. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at info war with the chemtrail operations. The Battle of Britain has not ended. The Battle of Britain has just begun. Black Hawk Leader, like shooting Victor in a 2 barrel. 3 0 You'll be in a barrel, you can watch out for the fire. Over. Black Hawk Leader, received and understood of Black Hawk Leader to aid flight, turn to port and steer 2 3 0. Stop that Polish shatter and steer two, three, zero. The BB, I'll say again, two, three, zero. The crying out loud, two, the BB, three, zero. Now just shut up that run of you. I'm full of me. Unless you're blind as well as me. Oh, God's truth. Oh, the bad guy. Yes, sir, 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 We've got to stop this. It's okay. hurting our children. Well, I think that they did accomplish their goal, and I and right now, 100% of the Earth is uh, affected by mind control or scalar waves that are transmitted now from satellites in space that completely ring the Earth and are enhanced by ground antenna that we see as cell tower and microwave transmissions so that at any moment they can transmit a mind control wave to specific areas of the earth uh, to specific people. And a lot of what's happening now with the chemtrails is also creating a web or a network around the earth like a shield or radio wiring so that it's like a grid that covers the earth and they can pinpoint very specific locations now and transmit whatever they wish to, to create. Yeah. You know, we, we've just got to not let fear get to us because that's the control system's most potent weapon. Hmm. Well, I think that, um, you know, the spraying from the air, uh, I mean, I've been to 50 countries over the last 20 years, and um, even when I visit my, my friend, uh, Kredo Mutwa, the Zulu shaman in South Africa near the Kalahari Desert, you look up in the sky and the bloody chemtrails are there. They're everybody where. And there's, a, there, there's um, obviously a reason for that. And one of the things I've learned over this 20 years of research is that there's never one reason for anything. Mm -hmm. um, there are multiple reasons. Part of it is uh, destabilizing 
the human immune system. Part of it is creating a sub-reality around uh, the planet in, to manipulate the energetic field that we're living in every day. And um, I, I'm absolutely convinced that um, the chemtrails and the manipulation of the lower levels of uh, the uh, energetic field, Earth's energetic field, which we live in and experience all the time, um, is connected in, in, in part to, to the HARP transmissions, um, which, of course, HARP has many, many multiple um, levels of uh, technology and applications, and one of them is literally uh, creating mass uh, fields of thought, which we decode as our own. Um, I had a, a friend in America who um, told me um, a few weeks ago that she, her husband, um, her uh, son and a son's uh, partner uh, had exactly the same dream about uh, uh, Barack Obama in the same night, um, uh, which was a dream saying that he was a good guy and a wonderful guy and all the rest of it, which, uh, you know, a, a day's research will show you was a nonsense. But um, and, and, and she said immediately that she felt that some kind of technology had been broadcast and people had picked it up. What they're um, seeking to access is, is the pineal gland um, to, mm. to literally transmit um, thought, perceptions, dreams um, um, into, your, into your reality. We need to be aware of this because um, not every dream is a, is a premonition of, 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 oh, you know, all the rest of it. They can, they can be... Uh, uh, broadcast out and we can we can uh, decode them and, th and thinking it's a dream we're having when it's actually something we're picking up and that's what's what what part of the the harp system is and i i think that um this chemtrail stuff and, and many many other things that are being dropped are, are in, in part um connected what did they want to accomplish Bottom line is they wanted to create a global robotic society, very much like you'd see on Star Trek, the Borg, where everyone has a specific function, a specific designation. No one asks any questions. You just go through your life doing what you're told to do in a specific function, and you never deviate from that. And in that way, it ensures a society that does not change, and the control system stays intact. My gosh. And you know what? They're, they're pretty much there. When I look out there in the public and I hear how people react to things, they just believe whatever they're told. No one questions anything. I, yes, there's a few people who, who like myself who, who make a lot of noise. But for the most part, people just follow along and don't question anything. Chemtrails are real. Until 1996, all condensation ice crystal trails only formed at 20,000 feet and higher, generally in the winter months, and they faded out in a few seconds to the maximum of one minute. Your whole life, remember, watching a trail go by and watching it disappear? Then suddenly in 96, before anybody was even talking about chemtrails, I would notice, man, why do those stay there? I'd be in, you know, uh, gardening. My parents had a couple acres in the middle of town. I would go garden because I like planting stuff. Call me a weirdo. Uh, but I'd be out there growing watermelons and stuff and stomping around uh, and the flowers and the bees. And I'd go, man, that trail's been up there for like an hour and it's getting bigger, turning into a cloud. What's going on? It's like cloud it's seeding. It's funny about people that are out there going like, they're not doing chemtrails. It's like, well, okay, well, your house is next to mine, so you're breathing <laughs> the same stuff. So, you know, have fun with when your child gets a giant brain tumor, too. You know? They're bastards, man. Stop killing us. You can find thousands of mainstream government university programs where they spray the clouds and seed the clouds and where they're terraforming the planet, changing its atmosphere. I believe the way they're hyping global warming, that they know they've done, they're even changing jet streams now, that they are going to alter the weather, they are going to create tsunamis, which is declassified they can do, that they are going to create calamities and that that's why people keep saying oh they've been disproven global warming the earth's cooling oh that you know it's been proven that that yeah they're cooling that's what the science shows they're doing and it's going to cause calamities and everybody's going to beg them to save them because the jets hardly ever leave our skies alone so that we get deep blue skies so and i don't believe that commercial airlines are as engaged in this process as everyone wants to think or our government wants us to think because they can't afford to do the loops in the loop um they can't afford to go off in all directions 
because they have to be on a schedule. They fly straight lines. They're trying to conserve fuel. They're cutting back. And so I can't believe that airlines have the money to do the loop-the-loop and go through uh, keeping planes up, doing all the things that we see in the skies these days. There's tens of thousands of declassified examples of spraying chemicals, biologicals, and radiologicals on us. Of them, in-game covers this. The chemtrail rally will be held from 11 a.m. the 9th of July, 2011, near Duxford Airfield, Cambridgeshire, to coincide with the Flying Legends Air Show. This is a massive public event near to London, and being a former Battle of Britain airfield, perhaps we can shame the Air Force should we encounter any unwelcome treatment from the authorities. The exact location will be revealed nearer the time for obvious reasons. I'm appealing for help with this rally. So please contact me should you wish to help with the organization of this peaceful event. Any acoustic groups that can provide music on the day, please get in touch. There will be public speakers. Please bring flyers, banners, loud hailers, sound equipment, cameras, recorders, and as much information as you can to disseminate to the public. From this weekend, in the run-up to the event, I'll be handing out information at as many air shows as I can get to. Contact me if you would like to assist in an air show near you. Let's show the public how muted the British Air Force is in the wake of such unparalleled crimes against its own people. They are not only shirking their responsibilities in protecting the public, they are ignoring the illegal foreign air force activity in the very skies they fly in. This is our chance to really show the strength of feeling that is building through the efforts of sky watchers around the country. Such pressure has shown itself in the propaganda arm of the British government that the BBC has stage managed a very slick retort in the form of a chemtrail disinformation program in the weather show on the BBC News 24 channel only a fortnight ago. In my view, the BBC laid out a preemptive strike in the info war even tying in 9-11 into the fake science. It was subtle, patronizing, and bordering on criminal, although ultimately a failure that is rebounding in their face. The chemtrail rally will take place from 11 a.m. 9th of July, 2011 at Duxford, Cambridgeshire. I look forward to seeing you there. Please promote this as much as you can on the World Wide Web and other places. If you can't make it, help us get the information out to people that this rally is going on. Thank you for watching. Big city. They say if you tire of London, you tire of life. But isn't it interesting that for all London's glitz and glamour, you're never more than a stone's throw from a rat, or a click away from the surveillance cameras. Scratch under the surface, and you'll find a city as overrun by criminals as it is by roads. And now that we have resolved to finish it, 
I know that you will all play your part. 